Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I have a really fun video. It's gonna be short and sweet. So an item really similar to this popped up on my Instagram as an ad. Now, it was one of those things where I will see it every single time until the moment I'm looking for it. I couldn't find that one anymore, but I hop on Amazon and I found this little guy for $6. So it is a little tiny battery operated washing machine. This is what it looks like. You do have the little see-through top. I have my little dirty beauty blender we're gonna try out. I I have a couple dirty ones um, inside it has the little rotating piece and essentially you can literally turn this baby on so this is what it looks like when she's going and then it has the little tube to release the water so I am very curious if this will actually do anything it certainly is super adorable I've seen a lot of people get like pink ones they do have different designs this is literally just like a sticker I picked this up for six dollars and I just couldn't resist it took about two weeks maybe a little less to get here but for six bucks I just had to know if this thing would work so in just a moment we're gonna put some water in it add some cleanser and then we're gonna test this bad boy out so yeah, let's just get to it. I wanna know if this will actually clean my beauty blender. Pause this video, drop a comment below, and let me know, do you think it's going to work? And then afterwards, if you wanna comment again and tell me if you were right or not, but I wanna know what you guys think looking at this. You think it'll do anything or not? I am very, very skeptical. So I'm gonna go fill this guy up and then we are going to try it out. All right, so I just laid out a little towel on a table so that we have a little clean space to work with. I put water in. I was afraid to overfill, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you turn it on. So it has a really good little spin to it. I was actually surprised that it was so effective. So I dampened two of my Dirty Beauty Blenders. I feel like damp is probably gonna be your best bet, but I do have one that is dry that we can test out too. All right, I'm gonna start with just a little tiny bit of cleanser. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's spinning, but it's not doing a whole lot. I'm wondering if I maybe have too much water inside. Okay, let's see. No, it's pretty much at the bottom. I'm gonna spin it around. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. So we're getting a little bit of kind of makeup looking residue in the water. So it seems like it's doing something. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, since it's doing okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, so let's see. So if there's only a little bit of residue in there. I'm gonna add a little more cleanser. Okay, so I'm actually not mad at this. Like, I feel like if anything, it kind of, I don't know, just inundated the sponge with some cleanser. I'm gonna try our dry one. So obviously this one's smaller, so it has a little bit more free range, but at some point it will absorb water and get larger. So I don't know what exactly will happen with this, if this will be better or worse. Okay, 
so it's absorbing a little bit, but not much. Let's see. Oh wow. So, <laughs> look how much water. Look at the difference in the water level just from what it soaked up. Okay, so I feel like maybe starting with the wet one's probably the way to go. Okay, I added yet again some more water. I just wanna make sure that I'm being thorough and really trying this out and like giving it a shot. So I'm just playing with it some more to see if any scenario kind of works out. So I feel like this is a little bit of a flop. Um, not that I really expected amazing things. Now, the cool thing about it is these are cleaner. Um, they still, of course, still have like some foundation in them and they are maybe a little bit stained as well. But for the most part, they are cleaner. I mean, this would be better than doing nothing. And then you could just like rinse it out and squeeze it. I am curious if a tiny beauty blender would work. So I have this little beauty blender. Is this the blusher, I think? Um, this one has a little foundation in it. I actually just like put some foundation on it and I'm curious if this would actually do better in here. I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and soaked and then we're gonna give this one a go. Okay, so foundation's pretty much still in it. Now this is even fresh foundation too. So this foundation has not been like sitting in the sponge or anything. I literally just squeezed some foundation into it to see what would happen. Okay, so it might have loosened it up a little bit, but not really doing anything. So let me give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so all in all, I think this is probably gonna be more for giggles than anything else. It is super cute, and the idea behind it is actually pretty genius, um, because if I could every morning pop my blender into here, let it run while I'm doing something else, and then grab it, it would be perfect. I wouldn't consider this like clean enough for my taste, it is cool that I think to maybe a small extent it did work. Um, there is some like residue in the water that you can see. So the water to me looks a little bit more pink, but it does have like a pinkish oranges look where maybe it got a little bit of the foundation out. Um, this could also be a good place. If you wanted to soak your beauty blender, you could leave it in here to soak and even let it run um, as like the soaking process. I'm curious if I, let this go for a while if it would do anything better but i kind of think that it's cute it's funny 
but I don't think this is going to be my proper way of cleansing my beauty blenders. Uh, let me know what you think below though. I'm curious if you guys would be interested in picking one of these up, if you think you would use it at all. I mean, it did a little something. So I guess the fact that it did anything is kind of impressive. But either way, I had a lot of fun testing this out. Just one of those things, like I had to know if it would work or not. So hopefully you guys found this a little bit entertaining. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think about our little tiny washing machine. I do have one more little thing to take care of which is our dad joke. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a tricycle? A tire. I cannot. All right guys thank you again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!